All right, I'm the Flat Rate Masters, and well, let's talk about the trials and tribulations of being a shop foreman. In case you don't know, I'm the shop foreman at this shop, and the upper shop, in case you don't know, we also have a lower shop, Bam Bam's in charge of that one. He's off because, well, he's got human malware and he had a baby, so he gets an like, extra week off for that. But let's talk about, well, being a shop foreman. So tomorrow is Friday, four wheel brake job sold, two tires, alignment. But in addition to that, I also have a alignment on one of the new guy's vehicles he put tires on. And I have a comeback from Billy, probably just has a little air in it. He did a, uh, dash pull on it, but it's got a noise complaint for, you know, bubbling in the cooling system. So it's got probably some air in it, but I've got all that. Plus I have to assign work. Plus I have to diagnose any new cars that come in. And, oh, I got to put an engine in too. I know some people, you know, oh, you get to control what you work on and all that kind of stuff. To some extent, yes, I can control what cars I take. Not right now because, well, we, well, what's going on, but to some extent, I can. But in other aspects, I really can't. You know, when, I, when a car comes in and I assign it to a technician and he needs help, I got to go help him. It's not a simple matter of, well, <laughs> have fun. It's not like being another tech. You have to go in, you have to help them, you have to help them figure out what's going on. You know, John, the new kid, had a, did a brake job the other day, brand new, and he had a, a comeback for a noise complaint. It is what it is, but I had to drop everything because the customer was waiting for it, so I had to stop, help him figure out the noise complaint. Luckily, some hardware got bent, we had an extra hardware kit that accidentally got ordered, so we were able to fix it. My point of this is that, you know, being a shop foreman, I know a lot of people, you know, think, oh, it's, you know, easy job in the shop. It's really not. It can be taxing. It can be irritating. It can just suck. Because I can tell you right now, nine times out of ten, when I am arm deep in a car and just about to get that faster started that I've been struggling with for 10 minutes is when somebody comes over and asks for help. It's just the nature of the beast. So it's, you know, I'm not complaining. I love my job, but it is one of those things that, unfortunately for a lot of technicians, they think the shop foreman position is the gravy easy job. And it's not. It can be a lot of different fires going on at once that you've got to put out. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, the place is burning down and you've got to deal with it, putting out fires over and over and over again. You know, I've had days where literally I have to run the entire breadth of the shop going to everybody, helping them with all the different problems that are going on. Like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, for those aspiring technicians that think about going into being a shop foreman, you have to understand, it is not a just quick, easy, you know, sit back and, you know, make the easy money. It really can come down to a lot of different headaches. You know, in this shop, I assign work in the upper shop, so I have to maintain, you know, workflow for everybody in the shop. I have to make sure technician A has enough work for him. You know, when that next car comes in, I got to figure out where it's going to go, even though, you know, technician A's got 15 hours sold, technician B's got 12 hours sold. You have to figure out how to manage that. It's not a job that is easily figured out. It takes finesse. It takes time. It takes, well, biting the bullet sometimes and taking that car you really don't have time for and doing it. So I figured it would, you know, be an interesting look into my 
existence, so to speak, at the shop because, well, that's how it goes. Some days you're, you know, the shop's running smoothly, you're getting your work done, everything's going good. Then there's those days where you literally spend more time out of your bays than you do in your bays. And yes, I've had those days where I'm helping somebody torch something in one bay, then going helping them diagnose a car somewhere else. And then, you know, and literally, you know, and then the next question, of course, is from the service rider. Why isn't that car done? Oh, is that car going to be done today? You mean the one that I haven't even touched yet? No. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little look at my madness. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.